Hello everybody, happy, happy, happy day. How is everybody doing today? Um, I know I usually try to get on in the evenings, but life's been a little bit crazy this week. So I am jumping on here today to talk a little bit about me and my journey with keto um, and ketones and low carb in my life and everything that's kind of like all been jumbled together in my journey. And there's a lot of new members in this group um, that are questioning what to do and what's going on and how everything is. Um, let me just grab one box here just quickly. Um, you might hear my cat freaking out in this, so I apologize. Um, I do see somebody on here. Hey, Michaela. So let me tell you guys a little bit about me. Um, I'm a very open, upfront person. I will tell you guys my whole life story any day of the week. Um, 2010, I um, got really sick. Um, I was at work, I wasn't feeling good. And um, that night I ended up going into the emergency room and found out I had pneumonia and three blood clots in my lungs. Three. Um, and was very sick. Obviously, I ended up finding out then I had a blood clotting disorder. I have factor five blood clotting disorder and factor five Leiden, protein C deficiency on top of that. I was on Yaz birth control at that time. So I had to go off birth control, um, couldn't take birth control anymore with having that blood clotting disorder. Rolling forward, a few years later, moving past it all, dealing with a lot more medical issues and everything just started snowballing. I had my son, I have Tatum, Tatum's birthday is on Friday, he's my world. So things got change everybody's life changes especially after you're having kids i've always known i had a thyroid issue and there you go and i've had lung issues obviously i've had breathing issues since i was a kid your life just gets crazy so i ended up having to have a hysterectomy um, i had a bowel resection with that being done and i was just very very ill and then i ended up um, having marital issues um, that was really a mess and then i ended up finding out that i had um celiac and um was having gluten issues and then i found out i needed to have a hernia op operation and on top of that um it was a mesh and they couldn't do it laparoscopically because of my other surgeries so we had to do it open and that was dramatic because when they went in to do that it was a ventral hernia cut me open and then my lungs collapsed. So I ended up spending a week and a half in the hospital and it all went bad. So that was back in 2016. So my marriage went to shit. My whole medical life was even worse. So I'm always been very open and honest about my body, my life. I don't care. When I was bigger, I was still open and honest. Um, at that point, um, one of the local photographers in town uh, was opening up her studio. She's a wonderful, wonderful woman. And I went and had photos done with her. And I literally had just had the staples taken out of my belly when I had the photograph when I had my photos done. So um, I had my boudoir photos done. This was back in 2016. Um, like I said, my marriage was a mess and I was like, you know what, we're splitting up. I'm going to go do something for myself because you need to take care and do something for yourself. So this is back in 2016 and I'm trying to try to get the glare. This is me. Okay. Still me. That's me. Okay. And I still love, and I still have these photos in my bedroom. Don't ever be ashamed of your freaking self. I don't care what size you are. You're rocking your body. This is also me and she's a wonderful photographer so proud of these photos so rolling forward i start eating healthier i start you know watching what i'm eating i meet a dietitian you know and we're working on ourselves and i'm going through my divorce so two years ago a um, little about two years ago it was november of 2020 i'm still doing the whole you know watching what i'm eating still doing everything Thank you, Rebecca. And I had found out four years ago that I have this immuglobin deficiency. Uh, that would be why I have all these lung issues. 
Um, I also have bronchiectasis. There's a lot. There's a lot going on with me medically. I'm open about it though. Message me if you have any questions. People know this. Um, I have a port in my chest. I get blood infusions. So this was all a lot. So 2020, um, I get home from being at my parents and it was around Thanksgiving time. It was right before Thanksgiving. It was the week before Thanksgiving. And I get home and we had had a power outage. Life was <clears throat> a mess. And I'm going back and forth with Carrie, uh, who was my promoter at the time, coming to me, wanting me to start these ketones. And she's like, they're going to help you so much. And I'm like, Phew. I don't got time for this. Well, then I get home and I walk in my house and we had just had a power outage and my whole house is flooded with water. Like my dishwasher had backed up and flooded my whole house. So Tatum and I had to move out to my parents and the floors all had to be ripped up. They had to come in and get a dehumidifier and dry out my whole house. It was like the cards were stacked against me. And I'm like, are you kidding me? And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to reach out to Carrie and I'm going to try these because if everything else keeps falling out against me, I'm going to just, I need to do something for myself. I'm so thankful that I did. So anyways, so then a different photographer and I get talking and I had photos done again. So these ones are from January. Dun, dun, dun. I'm telling you, always be proud of yourself and mark your milestones in life. So this one was from then. And this one's from, it's upside down. So, still drinking my ketones, still doing my thing. And you know what? Still going. So, your life is a journey. You're going to go through it. Mark those milestones. Be proud of your body. Be proud of everything going on with you. You've got this. You've got this. So, you the house is flooded. The floors got taken care of. I stayed with my mom. Everything fell into place eventually. And everything will eventually fall into place. I promise you. It was a mess. It, it, it was a lot. You know, my divorce went through. We, we, we hashed that shit out. I'm still trying to co-parent. It's not always fun, but you'll get through it. You know, I'm still dealing with my medical stuff every day. I take a breath. I get up. I do my treatments. I do my program. I do everything I need to do that the doctors tell me to. I have my schedule of my appointments. I know what I need to do. And that's my journey. And I know that these ketones are helping me. They're giving me a little, the energy that I need and the lift I need. And I know they're good. And I know what's going in me is good. And it's helping me. And I know I can't control everything in my life. But what I can control is what I put in my body because it's healthy. I know that it's not good for me to go to McDonald's and eat that crap. And I know what's going to happen if I put that stuff in my body. It's going to trigger all the bad things in my body and my body's going to react bad to it. But if I put the good things in my body, my body's going to react good to it. I know if I put these ketones in it, my body's going to work good with it. It's not going to trigger all the bads in my body. You got to listen to your body and listen to how your body responds. And I know that certain things run in my family. I know diabetes runs in my family. I know high blood pressure runs in my family. I know that I can't control necessarily getting those genetics and genes, but by eating right, by taking care of my body now, I can prevent myself from getting those. I couldn't prevent myself from getting my blood clotting disorder. That's genetic. I'm going to get that anyways. I couldn't prevent myself from needing to get a hysterectomy at 30 years old because that was genetic and I had a tumor and I needed to get that taken care of. But I can prevent myself every year by when it's time to get a mammogram and prevent myself from, you know, being monitored and making sure that I don't have the cancer cells because that is genetic. So you've got to take those cautions in life and be healthy. You've got to be careful and be healthy. So, you know, taking this, well, right now today's a keto up, but, and it's great. This is the uh, Blue Raz. I don't know if Rebecca's tried hers yet. But taking those cautions and taking those healthy steps in life and taking a healthier lifestyle is what people need to be doing. Because going and putting all this antibiotic-filled, unhealthy crap in your life is not... Um, and if anybody is interested in trying this, you know, I highly recommend doing this, starting with the 10-day trial. I highly do. Because... You get five amazing flavors. 
you know, you only need to drink one a day. You can do two, but you can do one. I started with one and I still mostly do one. Once in a while, I do need an extra pick me up because I've got a long day ahead of me and I've got a bunch of things to do and a lot of appointments. So I will do two, but normally I just do one and it's going to cleanse your body. You're going to feel so much better. The energy it's clean energy. It's so amazing. And you're going to enjoy it. Anybody that is on this right now and drinking this right now can tell you how much better they feel. So if anybody has questions, feel free to reach out to me. If you're overwhelmed and you don't understand and you're watching videos or you're reading things online and you don't understand, message me. If you're more comfortable sitting down and doing a Zoom or a Facebook message and talking to me, we can talk. I'm open to it, you know. Let's conversate, you know. The world's too disconnected now. So I'm here for you guys. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, tomorrow I am, as you see, have balloons in the background. Tomorrow I'm going to do the drawing for the Easter basket. And I'm also going to be doing a special with Tatum. Because Tatum will be in the house. Uh, his birthday is on Friday. But Sharon's caring. And I do have to share him with his dad. So... I won't have him for the full day on Friday, so we're going to do his little party birthday surprise tomorrow night, and uh, there's going to be some crazy stuff going on. So I hope everybody is having a wonderful Tuesday. If you guys are watching this on the replay, please um, hashtag this replay, and I will talk to you guys all soon. Um, message me if you have any questions. Um, if you have to, you guys can always add me as a friend, then message me because then it doesn't always go right in that spam box, okay? So I will talk to you guys all soon. Um, stay happy, stay healthy. Enjoy this day. It's sunny out. We're not going to have this many happy sunny days before it starts raining even more. So, all right. Bye-bye.